Dexter is a patterned blood analyst who leads a double life. To satisfy his need to kill, he hunts and kills murderers who have escaped the justice system. Oh, God. But getting away with murder is never easy for Dexter. Hi, I'm Salim. I'm Rachel. And I'm Aaron. We're here to talk about our favorite serial killer, Dexter. Mm -hmm. Now in his seventh season, we've actually had the opportunity to watch the first three episodes. We've all just seen it. Now who wants to start before I cut you? <laughs> Dexter is a one hour drama on Showtime, which stars Michael C. Hall and Jennifer Carpenter as his sister, Deb. Well, what's fascinating is that Dexter is a serial killer that kills serial killers. How long have we all been watching this show for? Well, I've been at it from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've watched all of it, but I started watching it on TV starting in season three. Okay, and I have just picked the show up at the end of season six. What are you doing with your life? Noob! I didn't know! <laughs> I didn't know what I was missing. Before we get started, I just want to let everybody know that we'll be giving away lots of spoilers from season six and before, including some spoilers from season seven episodes one and two. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's start okay. it up. All right. So, you know, we know now that Deborah knows about Dexter being a serial killer, or mm -hmm. at the very least, at the end of season six, she saw him she stab She sees a guy. him stab someone. Exactly. Yeah. So, season seven opens. It's exactly where we left off. Great dialogue between the two of them, and we immediately get into how are Deb and Dexter going to be able to... Reconcile this recon issue yeah. that they... Yeah, have. reconcile, live together, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. How is this yeah. going to be a show still? Yeah, and I think that's been the most amazing part of this show, is that from the very first season, it's been about when is Deb going to find out about um, Dexter? Mm -hmm. And there have been lots of times, lots of misses, lots of close calls, but finally it has happened, and the way that they did it at the end of the sixth season, you're wondering, like, okay, where's it gonna go? Is he just gonna lie to her and just kinda get out of it like he usually does? The end of the first episode of the seventh season, wow, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just a bombshell. Did you kill all these people? But one thing that's always remained really, really strong is the acting. Yes, yeah, so always. Let's, 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 let's Michael get into C. That, Hall yeah. as Dexter is phenomenal. I mean, he's he's Dexter, and yeah. you know he's gotten comfortable with it. I mean, yeah. especially when you do something for seven years, you could sure. probably speak to that as an actress. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, definitely. That's like a lot of pilots that we see that we review. I'm like, this isn't so good yet. The acting's not so good, but that person might grow into the role. He is totally believable, totally he's comfortable. <laughs> he's grown. Yeah. Let's talk right. about the elephant in the room. Well, yeah, <laughs> we need to have the Jennifer Carpenter convo because oh. Miss Applebaum oh. dislikes oh. her so. All I will say is this. While all these terrible things have befallen this poor woman, this poor woman was annoying from the beginning before the things had befallen her. Mm -hmm. She Correct. has an annoying personality. Correct. Yes. She actually has to have the most range in terms of acting on the show. Her character's gone through so much. Dexter has changed, but not really that much. Mm -hmm. Not as much as she had. You're my own brother. How could I not see what you were doing? You're not responsible for this. Well, I am now. I helped you cover up Travis's murder. I'm an accomplice. You walked in on me. I had to think on my feet. I will say Lauren Velez, her character LaGuardia is one of the characters that I feel like is there in a more believable tone than some of these other characters that I feel like. Which is funny because like, I, like I hate her a clown the most. Show. <laughs> I hate her. She supports the plot, I'll agree with you. That's She's... what I mean. I think that the production value for each episode is phenomenal. And shot selection, music, everything about it's it. It's always been good. It's very solid. They have interesting choices because they, they have voiceover, they have flashbacks, they mm -hmm. have specific uh, lighting choices and framing choices. Especially and the, with the, the flashbacks. Mm -hmm. sorry, the the flashbacks yeah. are always lit differently. It really lays amazing groundwork for this character. For just understanding why he does what he does, it, it might be difficult for people to get into someone who kills people, but they do it in such a way that you, you want him to do this service. You've really thought this through. Yeah, well, I found this website, How to Cure a Serial Killer in 10 Easy Steps, and this is the first step. You have to print me out a copy. So let's talk about where we think the show's gonna go. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think the addition good. of Ray Stevenson as the villain is awesome. Ray, he, that's his good name, Ray, Ray Stevenson. Stevenson. He played Punisher in the second one. He's this but, new guy, Isaac. Yeah, right. and he's, he's great. 
Every season, you know he's gonna have someone he's gonna go up against. This guy seems like he's actually gonna be able to go toe to toe with Dexter. I don't know why, but he just he just it's, does. It's, you want to know what it is? It's he's cool because, and collected yeah, in the same exactly way. Yeah, exactly like Dexter. Exactly like he's Dexter. Got, yeah, he's got when that I, detached but, thing. Who are you? Are you a cop or some kind of security? <laughs> Who are you? Look, I don't have to tell you anything unless you show me a badge or something. Why did you kill Victor? What? What are you talking about? If you watch the show, continue watching. If you stopped watching, you better start again. And if you never started, well, you better start now because it's really, really good and it's only going to get better. I know that this show has probably lost quite a few fans since the show started, but it's still good. And I say if you stopped, catch up. If you've never seen it before, start. It's amazing. I think this is a really easy show to jump into. Maybe that's just because I have questionable morals. <laughs> um, but I think anyone who hasn't seen it before, start watching it right now. If you don't, I'll like, come to your house and I'll like serial kill you uh, with my saran wrap and my knife. Well, nobody wants that. No. So let's, uh, cheers. let's cheers that one. <laughs> You're scared, aren't you? I'm very scared. We're cool, right? Yeah, no one needs to know. <sighs> oh, thank God. She I, is saying, more affected by those things than your average bear. Your average bear is not finding out that your brother's a serial killer.